I am like so sorry for my hair. That scared me. Okay, I think that was the hair straightener telling me that it's ready. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today is going to be such an exciting video because I'm going to be unboxing the GHD Platinum Plus. It is very easy to tell on my hair because my hair is very thick. Not a lot of straighteners can withstand my hair and it just takes a really long time. So let's see if this baby works. Excuse me for my hair right now. We're about to fix it. Okay, so it came in this package. I bought it from Oz Hair Beauty. I got this knife from Kmart when I used to work there and I accidentally took it home with me. Accidentally. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I love unboxing things. I love unboxing oh, brand new things. Oh my god. 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 It looks so beautiful. Oh, the GHD Platinum Plus. This is how she looks like. Oh, ultimate results and stronger hair. Because it's the flat iron. Oh my god. She's beautiful. Oh my god. So the plates are tiny. Um, That's what makes me really nervous, but I really wanted a specific flat iron so I can do waves and curls as well. So I will have to see if this works. I mean, I know that Carly Bible has really thick hair as well and she bought this. So let's plug this baby in and get to straightening. So it comes with this thing too. It's like a GHD protectant and it has GHD on it. <laughs> Guys, the box is just so bougie as well. Can you imagine if this was like an unboxing fail where I absolutely hated it and then I had to return it? I really hope not. Now, this has three plates all along the sides of the hair straightener. Apparently that regulates the temperature. I feel like when I go traveling, this is gonna be actually really easy to carry. I thought it would be much bigger, but I actually quite like that it's not too big. <laughs> oh my God, it makes a noise. That's so cool. Okay, so how fast is it? Whoa, it heats up so quickly. All right, I'm gonna put that down for a second and okay, I am like so sorry for my hair. That scared me. Okay, I think that was the hair straightener telling me that it's ready. Guys, I'm so nervous. I hope that I like this straightener. Is she on? Okay, I can feel her being on. See the kinks in that? I don't know you guys. I'm actually kind of feeling it. I don't know why, but I feel like it's maybe not hot enough. But at the same time, like I usually do this when my hair is like dead ass cleaned and washed. I've done two like strokes of it and it already feels fairly straight, which is awesome. When you go like this, like you can't really put a lot of hair in there. It's just like stuck. Whereas some go really wide and you can kind of regulate it more. I'm not gonna return it. I actually really like it. And that was really fast to straighten. So let me do the other side. I don't know why, like it's just really light and like it looks very bougie, right? But I don't know if it's like, if it's just the look factor and the fact that there's like three sensory plates on it, it just feels very light. And to me that honestly instantly just comes off as cheap and flimsy. It does straighten the hair very fast though, I must admit. Maybe I'm just, okay, maybe I'm just picky as hell because actually this is quite pretty. My hair just needs like a trim and like a retouch. You know what, that actually took not a very long time at all, so. So this is her close up. There's a button on the inside to turn it off. And it took maybe about 10 seconds to heat up, so. Okay, so let me just show you guys how one stroke of this properly looks like. And then I'm going to very quickly straighten my hair off camera and show you guys the difference. I know that this part has not been straightened at all. That's how it looks like in comparison to this. Now that I look at it, I'm like, that doesn't look very straight to me, so. Okay, so that is way better. I think you need to just kind of go longer and slower with it. I'm going to finish this off screen and show you guys how it looks like afterwards. So here is the finished look, and right until the last second that I hopped onto the camera, I was like, I'm going to trash the GHD. But now that I put some dry shampoo in it and can see myself overall, I can see that it is very straight. 
I could have taken a much longer time to do this and it would have come out straighter but I just wanted to show you guys how it takes when you put the bare minimum effort into it and you're, you know, rushing out. It took the same amount as my 10 year old hair straightener that I got from Priceline. That was the GHD Platinum Plus. Would I buy this if I tried it going to the mall? If I was walking in Westfield and I saw this and I tried it on myself, would I buy it? Probably not, just because it is 320 or something Australian dollars and I would have probably scoped out something that does the same job which is a little bit cheaper. The one thing that I didn't like about it is when I felt it in my hand, it was very light. For me, that was like an instant association of like, it's flimsy, it felt like a toy or something, but that's probably just coming from me because my other straightener, let me show you. This is my old hair straightener that I have used since I was 14 years old. And to be completely honest with you guys, I am still obsessed with it. I love how thick the plates are. My hair is so thick and long that this captures absolutely every single hair follicle. It of course isn't as fast and it doesn't look as fancy, but to be honest, it worked for 10 years for me. It's all you need really. So I really like this one. I'm like, hmm, should I just buy this one and return the JD? But looks fancy, right? And it's way more expensive, so it must be so much better. I'm going to keep this just because I know it's going to last me a very long time it made my hair really sleek and shiny and I can do waves and curls and it's just like an, a three-in-one basically it's probably going to take me much faster once I wash my hair my hair is pretty damaged at the ends so that could be another reason why I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that this kind of helped you decide whether you wanted to get a GHD or maybe something a little bit cheaper but just a word of caution i bought another hair straightener from priceline this one is from priceline but i got another one because oh my god this one's old like i'm just gonna get another one and it burned my hair off like honestly i had like yellow fried hair for like a month or something like that that literally no pun intended burnt me and i decided to get the most expensive thing on the market because <laughs> they sell russian hair for hundreds of dollars because this is not a joke this is like hair extension thick if you're looking for something you don't really want to research it's kind of hard because you don't have like a bunch of hair straighteners and you can try all them out right. So I just knew that if I got this one, I would be happy with it, wouldn't burn my hair off. Hope that brought you as much value as possible. If you have any questions for me, comment down below or send me a DM through Instagram. Please make sure to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe and hit the bell notification to notify you every single time that I upload a new video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!